Ah, uh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Another segment of video. I don't know, maybe this will be the opening segment of videos. Uh, yeah, these are just kind of junk videos from the last couple of days. And uh, I don't even remember the topics exactly. Exactly. So still some stuff left. Um, anyway, all very discouraging here on Earth. Uh, so there's been this Jay Sounder thing, uh, whatever, My Misery Me, Yvette, uh, Sate, or whatever. Um, and, um, <laughs> you know, some other guy, John Doe guy, uh, incomprehensible blabble. And you're saying, what, what, what is this, 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 this is what you're going to get from people. Uh, it's different, but it's not different. Uh, you no, know, what you're saying is perfectly reasonable, except I think we should believe something else. I don't know. I you can't... Uh, I've just been sensing this inability to communicate with the human race lately. <laughs> and uh, it's just so difficult. I mean, just see the way the world is. The, the whole political um, thing that's happening. Um, and it's just so bizarre um, what's being rationalized and justified for people's personal ends. Uh, you know, these narrow uh, victories. Um, you know, at huge cost. <laughs> you know, it's pretty, yeah, let's make a lunatic president just so we can spit at some foreigners. You know, it's a hell of a price to pay. Uh, you yeah. know, and, uh, yeah, no, but that's the that's people. And you're just saying, man, I'm just saying, man, <laughs> you know, this is fucked up. More fucked up than I thought. I mean, I thought there was some hope that a reasoned argument um, would, would have its, you know, its due. It, can, it couldn't be ignored, but... Uh, the world seems more and more capable of ignoring reasoning and uh, you know, more and more likely to do exactly the opposite of being reasonable. Uh, and maybe that's the nature of idiocracy. You know, maybe we're already, th already there. Uh, we came up with the word too late. You know, people need to be saying idiocracy back in the 60s. Um, you know, to do something to... <laughs> stem the tide uh, but yeah it's like game over because most people are idiots um, but and by their own they're perfectly willing to display it you know with this <laughs> you know this this whole philosophy by contradiction they say it with a smile on their face like in a kind of odd you know nothing wrong with a contradiction it's fine <laughs> yeah, it's a perfectly adequate way to to run a robot is to have it do contradictory things, to have it believe contradictory things, to have it invest in contradictory things. And, and so that's how you have a world that, you know, can see purpose in making messes and then cleaning them up, like that makes any sense. Um, so anyway, just... Just complaining. <laughs> Daisies. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. And, uh, you know, it's still, I mean, this is all done over here, but some stuff still doing something. Um, it's supposed to be a pleasant enough week, so it's good. These are kind of lovely. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't think I have much. It's, I'm just, <laughs> I am a bit discouraged and uh, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm just tired of, there's just imbeciles everywhere. Uh, uh, the world's just thick with them. So anyway, and fluffy cats. Homeless fluffy cats. Perfectly good cat, no home. It's not a right world, it's broken. And it ain't going to get fixed <laughs> by the lunatics in charge, that's for sure.
the fucking insane majority. So. Yep, that's about it, I think. Alright, so anyway, enough of the video. Alright, sorry. It's junk, whatever. <laughs> Just what it is. Uh, and such. I should go for a run, but it's still too late. Um, yeah, it's kind of nice when the sun hits the leaves on the underside over there. Probably really can't get the full effect of that. That's uh, quite lovely. Anyway, until next time. Yeah, all right, just a comment that uh, sort of provoked thought. Thought I'd respond to it, but it's sort of irritating. Um, yeah. Anyway, so people with logical in their name always bothers me a little. Uh, if pain builds character, what do you think about disciplining your child through pain? Well, you know, then it's not the action that is teaching them. It's the, you know, the parent. And that's all different. Then it's just an authority. You know, respect my authority or I'll cause you pain. Um, so that's not necessarily going to build character. Um, obviously you have to do some of that. I mean, there's some things you got to stop kids from doing, walking into traffic and stuff. Yeah, you might have to pinch them in some way um, for their own good. Um, but other kinds of things like because uh, whatever, they broke a glass or they did something and you're going to start beating your kid, that's just absolute bullshit. So, yeah, you don't really... You don't cause your kid pain in any kind of direct way on purpose. Um, for the purpose of um, some kind of idea of um, discipline, if you can avoid it. I mean, it's that simple. I mean, if you can do it with um, rewards rather than punishments, that's what you use. So, I would never advocate any pain causing. Um, but. Like I said, those are just words because, in a sense, you have to advocate some kind of idea that you can't hand it to your kids. So you can't solve all their problems for them, and you can't fix it all, and you can't all this kind of crap because that does the spoiling thing is just as dangerous. So, comfort is also something you can't just um, distribute. Um, and maybe you do have to if you're going to be a responsible parent. Um, maybe you have to do you have to create circumstances where your kid might get a little bit humiliated by um, some arrogance or some confidence they might have too much of or something else. And uh, you know the realization is the fact is is that yeah you have to learn through those experiences not to be an asshole or you're an a you end up an asshole. Um, but it's all a real hard choice because obviously the more character you inspire in your child in the sense of more paying more attention to the consequences of their actions and the starving people in China and you know you can go through down the list the more dismal their life becomes um, in terms of having that awareness and if they are not aware you leave them ignorant in the bliss of ignorance um, and then the, the crime is you've probably created a perpetrator, you know, somebody who's going to be the causer. So, in a sense, you really can't win because your kid's either going to be something that's producing the problem or somebody who's the victim, and, uh, or both, which is even worse, obviously. Um, so the choices really aren't very good. Um, but character has value, so that's what I was saying in the video, and you're going to play this game that I was advocating for some, um, somehow it has to be produced through entirely negative, when I sort of made it clear that you can gain character through getting close to disaster. You don't actually have to have it. You know, all you have to do is see the raised hand. It doesn't have to hit you. Um, there's lots of the threat you know, being aware of the risk. Seeing somebody else fail can teach you a lesson. So, there's lots of ways to learn without um, getting broken and um, without being redundant, without making other people's mistakes. There's 
lots of ways to learn from other people and maybe that would be a good piece of advice for somebody is to look around and see how other people do life and see if you can uh, figure out where their mistakes are and um, learn from them um, and a lot of that is you know the kind of logic kids aren't um, really noted for you know that long-term thinking is a problem problem for me when I was a kid um, never figure you're gonna live past 20 so why should I worry about it <laughs> you know it's, it's not very realistic um, I don't know if you can fix that but I'm just saying youth doesn't tend to at least youth of my error um, didn't really have the patience for this long-term view of existing um, not that invested uh, realistically I never really had the like can't wait till I can uh, you know you wait till you can drive and do this and that but nothing you know nothing big uh, didn't have any I didn't have plans for the whole family blah 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 that never really made any sense so a little hard to care about it it wasn't something I was going to, it wasn't a life I was going to live. So, but anyway, that's just tangential to the point attempting to be made. So these will probably be a bunch of little clips of not very well made points. Because so far I've got a couple of them in this camera. And uh, so I guess I'll make a video out of a bunch of not too good of videos. Lucky you. Yay. Ah, making a video. Yeah, back under the house. <laughs> yeah, way too narrow under there. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, well, people, you know, they're always too curious. Um, so they always ask some question, you know, why are you under the house? Aren't you a renter? All that. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, sometimes it's just circumstances, you know. And the circumstances if I don't do it, it isn't going to get done that's the circumstance so um, anyway so I was thinking you know while you're in these kind of conditions you start uh, thinking about all the other people in these kind of conditions and things people have to do and how unpleasant it is um, for a, a, you know an awful lot of people every day to wake up and have to you know push through it um, and they're just pushing themselves through it you know just this harsh uh, you know they're a slave to their own um, idea <laughs> you know um, that their own dependency really you know that they, you know, the only choice is death or the um, you know the whole idea of homeless and, and uh, so you know snake pliskiness uh, lord and savior guy all that kind of stuff so he's sort of in that circumstance, you know, where he's uh, kind of got a little bit sloppy and um, allowed himself to degrade to a point where, you know, it's so hard to pick it back up and put it all back together again. And uh, it's kind of an evil of our civilization that, um, you know, people just glorify all this wealth that's out there. And... Um, you know, maybe a small percentage of it. If you if you took, a, you know, a, a three percent of the wealth away, um, and uh, you know, provided some sort of real uh, mechanism to uh, you know rebound people, uh, recover the recoverable. And I suppose it's it's recognizing the difference, you know, between the the chronic alcoholic or um, abuser or fucker-upper, um, you know, versus somebody who's actually going to, um, be saved, <laughs> you know, actually saved, um, from a, um, dismal end of never quite getting enough air, uh, from the surface to be able to swim to shore, uh, however you want to metaphor it. Um, you know, they're so down that they just can't quite bounce high enough to stay high or to stay elevated. 
and uh, unfortunately these words high and elevated really are poor choice of words in the sense because yeah that's sort of what the story is usually is you know for him it's uh, Adderall um, you know I'm sure everybody has their drug of choice um, you know many of the people who crash and are not quite burned you know they the gasoline didn't spread on them entirely but uh, you know they're gasoline soaked maybe could be the metaphor so they're dangerous because I've you know I've seen that type you know where they are in the mood to um, try to suck too much out of life and um, you know they'll, they'll crash their plane on you so you have to be really careful when you try to help them because yes they really are covered with gasoline and they're just ready to find an excuse to um, burn you um, you know while they play their game and so but I you know it's, it, just saying I, I still think it would be worthwhile for our society our civilization to have a little bit more of a capacity to recognize the difference between the reclamatable and the unreclamatable. Um, they don't even do that with prison, you know. There's obviously a difference between the psychotic, um, lunatic criminal types and the people who, eh, you know, kind of just made a mistake. Uh, you know, maybe made the same mistake twice, but you know, there's still somebody there, there's a human being there that can be salvaged. And there doesn't seem to be much um, uh, willingness, well, hands moving a little too much. Uh, <laughs> this is really uncomfortable. Um, to um, do anything to see if they could, you know, f do something, uh, save them uh, again. Um, but then it would save them for what, right? Uh, because in a sense, it's all a trap. In the end, you're all, you're always going to be a slave to um, your lifestyle, and you know so many people end up in the condition they end up in because yes, once you have a little, you want a little bit more, and then you want a little bit more, and you start piling stuff in your boat, and then your boat sinks. Uh, so um, you know it. Uh, so that's the tricky part, right? Is somebody ever truly reclamated? You know, do they really learn their lesson? Uh, you know, or are they just going to do the same thing all over again? Anyway, lowering the jack. Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing. Good. That's what's supposed to happen is nothing. <laughs> so that was good. Uh, so anyway. Um, so just thinking and such. Um, that, um, uh, yeah, you feel sorry for people, and, um, but part of you also, there's no good solution, so, you know, there's no, well, there's better and worse outcomes, I guess, is I'll just say that, and, and that's, acknowledging that truth shouldn't be that big a deal, and, uh, you know, there should be minor things we can do or think or believe or state or invest in that um, just to recognize that simple truth that uh, yeah there's probably it, so see part of the problem is right you can't you can't make it profitable to crash all the way right because that's sort of what the system does if you go low enough then you'll get something and uh you know, and then there's often a whole bunch of resources for some people and then no resources for others and it's such an uneven game played. Um, you know, and then it's the whole extortion because you have a kid's thing. You know, if you have kids, you're allowed to make all kinds of mistakes and they'll all be forgiven. And if you're a little bit responsible and you don't make too big a mess, well, then they just figure, well, who cares? You're not a kid, so, you know, if you die in the street, no one really cares. <laughs> so, well, anyway. Uh, guess I didn't add anything of value here. Because uh, <laughs> it is a dilemma. Ow. Um, so, I'll shut up and move on. And such. If I can find my way out of here. Uh, so, anyway, until the next time, and such.